Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we will sketch a girl drinking coffee. We begin by making a circle for the head, then a line to indicate where the face will be. In this case it is going to be tilted. I draw a light cross in the middle of the head as a reference. It is so light it is almost imaginary. <laughs> but it tells me the height where the eyebrow goes. And just below it, there is a slight recess in the profile, and then the nose sticks out. Underneath we have the lips and the chin, and the jaw arrives to the right of the vertical line of the cross. Very good. Let's draw the neck, skinny and elegant, and then the shoulder and the arm up to the elbow the back and the clothing that is covering her. More or less like this and also the part of cloth behind her. The arm should be a little longer. Now let's draw the eye which is like a triangle just below the eyebrow. And we go over and detail the nose a little bit better. The forehead here and we begin drawing the hair. Very good. She's going to be drinking a delicious morning cup of coffee. So we draw it. And the hand that is holding the cup will be hardly seen here. And the arm in a vertical position. Let's draw her hair on the back like so. I love doing figure drawings and sketches. It has been some time now since the last one. So I'm enjoying this very much. And now let's begin shading. And I do most of it by making parallel lines, like if I was drawing with a pen. Here I should have left a light, so let's erase it on the trapezius muscle. For this sketch I'm using an indigo blue pencil, which is a Prismacolor called Erase. I like this type of pencil for sketching because it can be erased. The exact tools I'm using are, as always, in the description of the video. I darken some of the shading, like the core shadow on the arm. Then I correct the shape of the eyebrow, as it was rising a little bit too high on the back. Let's shade the lips and define the line a little bit better. I want to let you know that I really appreciate your comments and your support, and please do let me know what other tutorials would you like me to do for you. We do a little bit more detail on the hair, but not too much. I want this to be sketchy. We are almost there. We do the last details, the last touches, and it's ready. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, share it to your friends, and subscribe to Fine Art Tips. And I will see you on Tuesday.